Hi everybody and welcome to a new vlog. Uh, I thought I would sort of touch on a previous subject that I'd previously spoken about, uh, which is about education and why I chose to do a degree. I kind of regretted not going to university after school for many, many years. And when I first went to college after school to do my diploma to get into university, um, I wanted to be a physiotherapist. Uh, but uh, it was realised quite early on that that wasn't the right path for me. And many years later I thought to myself, what should I have done? Should I have done media studies? Should I have done English? There was a colleague of mine at work who was doing creative writing through the Open University and I thought for a long time I would love to do that. And I believed at the time, like everybody, that you had to have A-levels or a diploma or a GMBQ at level three before you could actually go into university, any university, and do a degree. But then I found out that the Open University allows people to do degrees when they don't have A-levels. Fantastic. But then I found out that um, although I'd be eligible for a student loan, it would take me twice as long as a normal degree to do it. When people go to university age of say 18, 19 or whichever, they do it for three years and they complete their degree, their bachelor's degree, they might move on to do a master's degree or they could go straight into employment or not in some cases unfortunately. But with the Open University they allow you to do it part time. It will take me twice as long to do a degree, six years and I'm currently in my third year. I'm doing really well at the moment. The first two assessments I handed in for this year, I got distinction in both. However, the degree that I'm doing is not in the areas that I have previously spoken about. I am a writer. I wanted to be a writer since I was a child. I studied media at school and did really well. But there was a little bit inside me saying, if I were to do English or creative writing or something like that through the Open University or any university, it might change the way that I view the literary world. I'm kind of proud of the fact that I'm a self-taught writer, that I did all my research and educated myself off my own back and made up my own mind. And I'm kind of possessive of it. So I thought, well, I don't want it to be altered in any way. I don't want to change my way of thinking about literature. So in a way, I kind of dismissed that idea. It was sort of bubbling away maybe. And I was looking into potentially doing another sort of side course, not necessarily a degree in creative writing, but uh, the place that I wanted to do it at, they discontinued that course and put another one up in its place and it wasn't the best course, so I so I dismissed that. I did ask for information on it and they never got back to me, so I moved on. And then after a while, um, I became a lot more interested in science and I was good at science at school. I actually took a science double award and I got a double B for it. I found just about everything in the world fascinating and I wanted to learn more about the earth, the history of the earth, about how life first came about and evolution, uh, geology and tectonic activity. I mean, who doesn't find volcanoes fascinating? So I decided that I would do a degree in science. A friend of mine was also doing the same degree, although doing the natural sciences physics route. I would therefore choose natural sciences earth science route. A lot of the people who were doing that degree chose physics because, you know, physics is cool, you know, it's all about space and, you know, what could be out there and I'm very much in love with planet Earth. I think there's a lot more to our planet than we know already. And they say, apparently, that we know more about space than we do of our own deep oceans. Have you never watched an episode of The Blue Planet or one of those discovery shows and just been completely awe-inspired by everything that we see? My friend and I often joke that he wants to shoot off into space, I'm quite happy to be firmly on the grounds. And what I love about earth science is it's interdisciplinary, so you can have, you, you learn things like physics, chemistry, biology and geology. It's really sort of like it encompasses all of the disciplines. And actually learning about earth science, you do need to learn quite a bit about space, such as how the earth formed and the late heavy bombardment, and about how other planets formed as well in the solar system. So we do a lot of planetary science as a lot as in this as well. Biggest thing I want to discover is abiogenesis, the very beginning of life and how life evolved. Doing a degree through the Open University is one of the best things that I've ever done. Their website is extremely intricate and elaborate and advanced. 
the study that you get put through is amazing. I am able to access publications from around the world that normally I'd need a subscription for. Their glossaries are extensive. You have multiple forums and online tutorials. Their online system at the moment is very interactive. They recently discontinued physical books and now everything's gone online. At first, I wasn't too happy about that and a lot of people weren't very happy about it either. However, I'm actually sold on it now because it is actually interactive. You can hover over words to find out what they mean. They put links in there for you that you can discover. They teach you the Harvard way of referencing certain things so you can avoid plagiarism and copyright. They have certain things like a, a, a digital microscope where you don't actually have to have a microscope. They have an online microscope. They have online specimens for certain rocks and fossils. That's incredible. You also have your online blog. I would recommend anyone do a degree through the Open University. Personally, I don't think I could have coped going to a mainstream university simply because I don't thrive in social situations and doing a degree online is perfect for me. In the first year of university normally, your first year does not count towards the overall degree. You need to get 40% to pass. While at the Open University, I only needed 40% my first two years to pass. So for the next four years, these next four years of university will contribute to my overall degree. I so want to get a first class degree. A 2-1 will be nice though, that will be nice. So even if you out there don't have any A-levels, you can still do a degree through the Open University and you should be eligible for a student loan provided you hit the criteria. You can start your degrees either in January or in September, it's entirely up to you. You can also do an open degree, so you don't necessarily have to follow a certain route, but you can pick so many different modules from all over the place. You can do law, you can do science, you can do art, you can do history, you can do English. I don't intend to stop. Once I have graduated, I intend to go on to do a master's degree and hopefully after that go on to do a PhD. I'm an aspiring scientist. So one day, hopefully, I will be Dr. Eri Berry. Anyway, thank you very, very much for watching. Please thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe and I wish you all the very best. Bye!